The state government has been accused of purposely waiting for a tragedy before pushing for changes to the state's gun laws. The suggestion came from a LNP politician who then broke ranks and crossed the floor. Lachlan Kennedy reports. A small sample of the high-powered weaponry surrendered during the National Firearm Amnesty. Over 16,000 firearms were handed in to firearm dealers and the Queensland Police Service. Police say one gun in the wrong hands can be deadly. This is the one politicians are most worried about. Parliament last night passing a regulation to reclassify lever-action shotguns, restricting who can own them. But it will ensure that all high-capacity lethal firearms can only be possessed by the very small number of people who have a legitimate reason to do so. One Nation and Catters Australian Party say it's an attack on the state's 200,000 registered gun owners, arguing it'll do nothing for public safety. Let's have a proper debate on meaningful action, but don't bring this rubbish into the House and say that this is going to solve the problems because it won't. The change is part of a national COAG agreement signed off in December, and while it has bipartisan support, the LNP member for Gympie broke ranks voting against tighter laws. Registered gun owner Tony Perrott accusing the government of exploiting public emotion after the Las Vegas massacre. It has sat on this issue because it wanted nothing more than to wait for some incident, some event, to give it a chance to have a go at weapons owners. New South Wales, WA and the ACT have already reclassified the shotgun. The changes take effect here from March. Lachlan Kennedy, 10 Eyewitness News.